Chandelure, you psychic! What the hell was that? Hello, welcome to the 31st. How's it going? Today's Pokemon Legends Arceus character design analysis is a deep dive into a fan favorite character from the land of Hisui. And... Melly too. Ingo has set the hearts and minds of Pokemon fans ablaze because, well, he's such an intriguing character. Even before we meet him in Legends Arceus, he is someone of great importance to the main character's journey, as we are told that Ingo too came from the Rift and no longer has any memories of his previous life. In Legends Arceus, Ingo is a warden of the Pearl Clan, who's responsible for the noble Pokemon Sneasler that can carry the player up steep cliffs and shit. But his backstory immediately resonates with us and he becomes a close ally showing up to help numerous times in the later portions of the story. Ingo is a ridiculously interesting addition to the roster of Pokemon Legends Arceus characters, not just because he's a high-ranking member of the Pearl Clan, but because he's also a character we've seen before in the world of Pokemon. Him and his younger brother, Emmett, are the bosses of the Battle Subway in Pokemon Black and White and Black and White 2. However, something happened and Ingo was sucked through a rift in space and time, landing him in the Hisui region several decades before the start of our story, where he was found by a Pearl Clan grunt. And as you can see, the years have not been kind. Surviving in the harshness of Hisui without any of his Pokemon must have been an extremely challenging ordeal, and as you can see, his old outfit has paid the price. The black conductor's jacket and hats he arrived with from Unova have been torn to shreds, yet he refuses to remove them because of some hazy significance that they still have to his past. The big ass cuffs have both been completely torn off, and he's even lost the entire bottom half of this jacket, including one of the buttons. Yet somehow, those black dress shoes are still completely fine. My guess though is that they are new. Someone probably just made some for him because there's no way that they'd still be in such good condition after so long. Furthermore, he also appears to be wearing new pants. While they're still black, they aren't the same type fit that he used to wear. And given the size of his hat on him in Hisui compared to what it looked like on him in Unova, it's fair to say that he's grown quite a bit physically since then. So those tight trousers would just probably no longer fit him. He's also visibly aged a fair amount over the years. While he's got the same general appearance, he's now got quite a few wrinkles on his face. Even more than Calibur, which is saying something, because she's almost 100. And to everybody's surprise and horror, he's rather relatably a victim of male pattern baldness. Which brings me on to today's sponsor, Keeps. I'm kidding, but you never know. But yeah, there's no shortage of artwork I can use to talk about his receding hairline because the community erupted with incredible illustrations when this concept art first came out. And honestly, his and Emmett's hairstyle is a mystery, mystery to me. It looks like a helmet, maybe slightly like Dialga's head if you squint, but I'm assuming it's something related to trains, because that was their whole deal when they were first designed to be incredibly minor characters in 2010. It's hard to tell, but it looks like he's also still wearing his old belt, although his gloves are lost to the wilderness. Finally, he's also grown a tiny little pointy beard. In actuality, his design has the most variation of any warden. He wears the Pearl Clan hoodie and the wooden Sneasler warden bracelet, and that's it. Everything else is stuff from his previous life, which he just can't bear to part from. When Ingo was stolen from the present of post Black and White 2, he left behind his younger twin, all alone in the undergrounds of Unova. So I'd just like to take a moment's silence to commemorate the brother who was lost to time. Honestly, it's really tragic. We have no idea how it all went down, but presumably Emmett wasn't also taken and he remained in the Unova region to live out the rest of his life, never knowing what fate befell his older sibling. And I mean, they were twins, man. It doesn't get any closer than that. As far as descendants, it's unlikely that Ingo has any. He's pretty old and there's no mention of him having any kids. Plus, it would be weird, right? I mean, it'd probably be some kind of paradox. Maybe he's done some, uh, some dirty stuff and messed with the Pokemon timeline to become his own great granddad. Ingo's name is a train pun. It comes from an up train in Japanese and in English is from an in-going train. He's also the only warden to use Pokeballs, probably because it's just something that's so familiar to him. All in all, Ingo is a widely popular and fascinating character and I just sincerely hope that he gets to see his brother one last time.
So now we've done the good bit, we can go on to Hisui's most hated character, the infuriating Melly. Melly is a bastard who does nothing but get in our way and boast about his own meager skills and overinflated ego. And yeah, maybe he's handsome and an excellent singer, but who really cares? His outfit is pretty basic. All the elements of the Diamond Clan uniform are there, including the hoodie, gote, boots, and even just the standard three pouches. He is the only warden to wear his hood up, but that might just be to show off the only accessorizing he's done, which is to embroider a couple flowers on the hood and the electrode he's warden of on his left hip. I can't actually place these flowers though, um, given that his name is based off a Camilla, it would make sense for them to be that, though the design isn't quite right. Japanese Camillas are a pretty big part of the culture and were traditionally used in hair care, which would track given the way this guy is so vain, but I just can't see the resemblance. Here are some other plants that it could be. Personally, I hope it's the globe thistle, because then it would match his prickly personality. Although it could be an entirely fictional flower, given the way that it seems to be connected to Voltorb and Electrode in some way, based on the leaf pattern both embroideries share. It could even be as simple as the plant that the seeds contained within Voltorb grow into. He wears the wooden Electrode Warden bracelet on his right wrist, sometimes and finally has a thick necklace with a blue diamond-shaped stone attached to it. Probably to mimic the sort of thing that Adamant has, given how much he looks up to the best-looking dude in Hisui. Maybe the reason he's done so little accessorizing is because it would detract from the main attraction, which he believes to be his own looks. He's smug. I don't know if I've mentioned that. He's got long, flowing purple hair and them long lashes that make the ladies go wild. That said, I don't think he has any descendants for... obvious reasons. But if we assume I'm wrong and that he is open to copulation, I would probably guess Lucian, though only because of the hair. Lucian is a psychic type wielder while Melly is a poison specialist because he's a toxic dude. His team is pretty similar to Jupiter's, who is coincidentally the only galaxy commander not to have any obvious ancestors in the game. So maybe there's a connection there. But that's all we have time for today and all my, my voice can handle. My heart goes out to Ingo and Emmett. I hope both of them find peace. Melly though can die for all I care. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, comment, and of course subscribe. There's plenty more of these sorts of videos on the channel. There's playlists and, and there'll be things in the end card for you to click on. That said, I hope you will stay safe out there and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.